Ever since I was a kid, I always felt drawn to trains in some way, especially in video games. There was something strangely rewarding in progressing through a train level as each train car is literally another step closer to the front of the train, and therefore the end of the level. It's almost like you're playing through a progress bar, uh, if you look at it in a very basic, simplistic way. Anyways, here are my top 10 favorite train levels of all time. Number 10, Mission Impossible 64. Looking back at this early third-person shooter, the game did not age well. However, I remember it as one of my first 3D train level experiences. While old, you've got all the basic mechanics of a fun train level here. Plenty of train cars full of bad guys to shoot down, hostages to save, a time bomb to defuse, and a rooftop segment that requires you to shoot down cars and helicopters. Top this all off with a tense soundtrack, and this made for an iconic level to play in the early days of console 3D gaming. Number 9, Ordmantel in Shadows of the Empire. Another oldie for the Nintendo 64 is Ordmantel in Shadows of the Empire. Fun fact about Shadows of the Empire, this is the game that introduced me to the Star Wars universe. After playing it, I would go on to become a Star Wars fanatic over the next decade and a half. Now this train level is more obstacle based than action based, requiring players to jump and duck past obstacles. Not so bad considering you'll find yourself humming along to the iconic Star Wars soundtrack. There are some enemies, but it feels like there are relatively few compared to other games on this list. Because of its heavy focus on obstacles, I have to keep it low on my top 10 list. Number 8, Gunstar Heroes. If you never got the chance to play Gunstar Heroes on the Sega Genesis, you can now get it on the 3DS eShop and you really should. Aside some great gameplay, it also has a decent train level. While nothing too exciting, there's a ton of stuff to blow up and said stuff that is blowing up flies all around you in pure chaotic joy. This level is different than the other train levels as you can jump between ceiling and floor or the left and right wall to position your attacks. If you have the gun that auto targets your enemies though, it's kind of a breeze, but still a fun train level nonetheless with a fun multi-stage boss to finish it all off. Number 7, Macbeth in Star Fox 64. Okay, last one for the Nintendo 64, there were just so many iconic train levels back then. Macbeth in Star Fox 64 is quite different than the other games on the list, putting players into a tank and having Fox and team chase a train while blowing up everything in sight. The level can be quite frustrating, but destroying the train piece by piece is just so satisfying. Plus, getting to the end will grant you a battle with the Macbeth boss. I really wish this level had been redone in the more recent Star Fox Zero as it was just so fun to play. Number 6, Sparkster. Sparkster is the sequel to the amazing Rocket Knight adventure game on the Sega Genesis, and the whole game is basically a long dragged out chase scene to rescue the princess. Early on in this game, you board a train as you chase after the airship which took your kingdom's princess away. It's some pretty basic jump around and kill your enemies type of gameplay, but it's Rocket Knight. The gameplay, soundtrack, visuals, and story of this game are all just a treat to your senses. My favorite aspect of this train level is definitely the soundtrack. Just listen to it. Number 5, the military train in Mega Man X4. I love the controls on the Mega Man X series. Not only can you jump and shoot, but now there's dash jump and shoot, wall jump and shoot, run dash wall jump all over the place and shoot. It's crazy. And in the fourth entry of the series, they finally gave us a decent train level. Plus, you can play as either Zero or Mega Man X. Aside just destroying enemies, you can also destroy pieces of the train, blowing up turrets and detaching cars from the train. Top it off with a mini boss fight, mech suits, and challenging boss fight and you have a solid 2D action platformer train level. Number 4, the Phantom Train in Final Fantasy 3. The train level from Final Fantasy 3 on the SNES, or 6 if you're counting by Japanese numbering, does something crazy. It has players moving up the train by walking left, left! Who does that? All other games have you going right. I wonder if there's any meaning behind that. Anyways, the Phantom Train is a somber level as you're on a train that's heading to the afterlife while your characters are still very much alive. So you have to get to the engine, which turns out is a boss, kill it so you can get off this crazy train. Also look at these two guys, they're outrunning a damn train with their legs. Did they drink power thirst? By power thirst! You'll be so fast, Mother Nature will be like, slow down! And you'll be like, fuck you, and kick her in the face with your energy legs! You have the option of performing a suplex on the train. What other game lets you do that? 
Number 3, Paper Mario Color Splash. Many players will have overlooked this game and therefore its train level simply because it smelt too strong of Sticker Star, which is really unfortunate. About three quarters of the way into the game, players are treated to an awesome train level full of surprises and beautiful visuals. Given it's a Paper Mario game, the whole level is fully designed to look like Papercraft. Additionally, the level is so full of surprises, it's a treat to continue to see what the game will throw at you next. Players will uncover unique battles and some fun dialogue and challenges in finding all the missing toads. Also worth noting is before the train level you must actually rebuild the whole train in the train yard, adding that much more train love to this wonderful hidden gem on the Wii U. Number 2, Mission 3 in Metal Slug 2. If you take Gunstar Heroes and crank up the testosterone, you get Metal Slug. The train level in the second game in the franchise is pure fun with up to dozens of enemies on the screen at the same time, all either screaming in agony or blowing up as you kill everything in sight. The 2D graphics and animations are some of the best still to this day. There's so much variety crammed into this level too. You'll be jumping on rooftops, blowing up locked doors, taking down hovercrafts, jumping onto other trains, fighting mechs, shooting down planes, and taking down a huge mechanized spider-like weapon. Everything about this level and game just kicks ass. Honorable mention, Super Mario 3D World. The more recent Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U was no stranger to train levels, adding quite a few to the game. Nintendo did a great job with creating an epic atmosphere with this level's theme and even starting it out with Mario chasing after the train on foot after being launched out of a cannon. There's a few collectibles to find on the train and some fun platforming to be had. Dodging bullet bills launched from another train in the background was another great touch, adding just that much more depth to the level. The only downside is I wish the boss was more unique and that the level was longer. Number 1. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves Uncharted 2 Among Thieves came out just over 10 years after Mission Impossible 64, and what a difference 10 years can do! The two games share the same type of gameplay, and that's about it. The Uncharted 2 train scene boasts beautiful HD graphics, intense gunfights, some comedic banter from Drake, and some platforming. It captures every element of a train level shown off in the previous 9 games on my list and combines them masterfully together. You get that sense of chasing down a target at the front of the train, an intense yet fun gameplay that changes throughout the level. You fight different styles of enemies, including a relentless chopper. You get a boss fight, explosions, platforming that makes the chase sequence more intense. Playing through this level was an absolute treat for me and it easily makes it to my number one spot on my top 10 list of best train levels. What are some of your favorites? Let me know in the comments below so I can try out some new train levels and put them in some future videos. If you enjoyed this list and want more, be sure to like the video and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.